yeah good morning all now i am going to explain about frequency response analysis okay in this frequency response analysis okay to, to determine the stability of a system that is open loop system we need to use bode plot polar plot nyquist plot now we will see how to construct this bode plot first okay see here the bode plot is constructed between frequency in radians per second on x axis that is log 10 omega on x axis and magnitude m in db decibels okay my m in db okay on y axis we need to plot the graph between magnitude versus logarithmic this is a magnitude plot if it is a phase plot that means phase angle phase angle versus angular frequency log 10 into omega okay from this given graph slope m is equals to the difference points m1 m1 comma m2 are the magnitudes of these two different points w1 and w2 are the angular frequency okay now see here how to plot this bode plot is very important okay now see here first of all how to plot the magnitude plot for g of s is equals to constant k term okay that means for constant k term okay this is the representation in magnitude 20 log 10 k okay if k value is 0 0.1 okay if k value is 0 0.1 0 0.1 can be written as 1 by 10 right this 1 by 10 value can be written as 10 to the power minus 1 then this minus 1 comes to starting right that is minus 20 log 10 into 10 okay 20 log base 10 10 value will be minus 20 that means when k value is less than 1 you will get the magnitude plot in downwards direct downward downside this side okay this is minus 20 db okay suppose if this k value is 10 that means 20 log base 10 into 10 20 log base 10 into 10 value will be 20 db okay this is the representation of 20 db m in db right on y axis right here omega on x axis right okay in this way we can plot for constant k yeah next g of s is equals to 1 by s if it is a pole at origin right g of s is equals to 1 by s now see here if I represent in magnitude, magnitude of z of j omega is equals to magnitude will be 1 by omega. This 1 by omega can be written, written as minus 20 log 10 omega. That means this value can be written as 20 log base 10 of 1 by omega, right? 1 by omega can be written as omega power minus 1. If I simplify that equation, we will get this value minus 20 log base 10 into omega remember this point if it is a pole you will get minus 20 log base 10 omega okay this value minus 20 will be minus 20 this minus 20 log 10 omega that is minus suppose if omega is equals to 1 that value will be minus 20 db per dk okay if it is a pole that is minus 20 db per dk this is the slope for minus 20 db per dk 1 by s square if two poles are present at origin that is minus 40 db per dk okay forget about this frequency okay similarly if i plot the phase plot now see here this 1 by s right then phi value will be can be written as same as here minus 1 by s means minus tan inverse only imaginary part is present right y by x is nothing but only omega okay that means omega by 0 1 by 0 infinity right that means tan inverse infinity value will be 90 right that means for 1 by s phase plot will be minus 90 degrees okay this is for 1 by s square the magnitude plot will be minus 40 db per decay okay for then the phase plot 1 by s minus 90 1 by s square minus 180 1 by s cube minus 270 in this way you will get phase plot phase plot in this way you can get magnitude plot for constant k 1 by s and 1 by s square next similarly k by s here it is the combination of constant k and 1 by s pole already we know that constant k 
the value will be 20 lakh base 10 into k 1 by s minus 20 lakh 10 omega okay again it is also 1 by s constant k slope is constant right but 1 by s minus 20 db per decay right this is the representation of this is the representation of minus 20 db per decay now k into s okay but actually we didn't discuss about s s is means in numerator only right that means that is positive right that is if s that means 0 is present at origin that is plus 20 db per decay now see here if we, if i want to plot k by 1 plus s into t1 okay k is constant term right this constant term you will get slope as constant okay next pole when pole is present the slope will be downwards minus 20 db per decay okay suppose here two poles are present right here at 1 by t1 one pole is present 1 by t2 another pole is present right now see here 1 by t2 right that is minus 20 db per decay again another pole at this point minus 20 plus again minus 20 right minus 40 db per decay okay in this way we can construct the Bode plot okay if we solve one problem then you have clear idea about Bode plot now see here what is given here g of s into h of s is equals to 100 into s plus 10 divided by s into s plus 5 into s plus 2 okay that means first of all from the given open loop transfer function first we need to identify omega 1 what is the lower what is the major lower frequency 2 radians per second omega 1 is equals to 2 radian per second omega 2 is equals to 5 radians per second omega 3 is equals to 10 radians per second okay first we need to find out omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 right based upon the given omega values we need to plot first magnitude plot right here it is 2 radians per second 5 next 10 radians per second okay after that you can replace this the given g of s into h of s into k into 1 plus st1 divided by s into 1 plus st2 into 1 plus st3 okay that means this is the standard equation in this way we need to replace the given g of s into h of s now see here g of s into h of s is equals to right g of s into h of s is equals to 100 into now see here this is s plus 10 right but we need to repl replace this equation in terms of 1 plus s into t1 right that means here i need to take 10 as common okay if i take 10 as common i will get 1 plus s by 10 next in the denominator s into again here s plus 5 is present i in denominator also i can take 5 as outside right 5 into that is 1 plus s by 5 next here 2 i can take 2 as outside right here 5 into 2 is present in denominator then 1 plus s by 2 5 into 2 is nothing but 10 right this 10 is also cancel then g of s into h of s is equals to 100 into 1 plus s by 10 into 1 plus s by 5 into 1 plus s by 2 okay 